greetings of the day in the today's session hr session we are going to discuss how the organization behavior is a blended discipline and has grown out of the contribution from numerous earlier fields of study either that is the science of psychology sociology engineering anthropology or management or i can talk about the discipline so my dear friends today we are going to discuss how each stream is contributing towards the understanding of the human behavior in the organization right so uh, i hope uh, you people have covered all those stuff that what is organization behavior what is organization how the behavior is very important in understanding the organization why it is important to uh, cover and to understand the open system and the closed system approach how the task structure people and the environment are correlated and uh, what is actually the importance of this organization behavior means uh, what is the importance to understand the aspect of uh, understanding the aspect of the organization behavior so today my dear friends we are going to discuss about that how it is contributing or uh, how it is contributing and how the various disciplines are contributing in the organization behavior so first of all we are talking uh, we are going to discuss about the psychology so various interdisciplinaries as i had a discussion that various interdisciplinaries influences have evolved into you know the independent discipline of the organization behavior now what about psychology psychology is basically the psychology it is the science of the organization behavior or the science of the human behavior so with the combination of the human behavior means with the merge of the behavior of the individuals it leads to the which leads to the organization so the behavior of the individuals which affect to the performance of the organization where the psychology means the study of uh, the human behavior the science of the human behavior is very important to understand so it is developed during the closing decades of the you know the 19th century psychology is uh, basically related to you know uh, the philosophy and the science of the philosophy and where it is important uh, to understand or to what i can say to investigate the work motivation the because frequently there is a overlap in the organization psychology and the organization behavior but both need to understand or to investigate the work motivation uh, and definitely to develop any sophisticated selection method it is very important to identify the psychology the importance of psychology and um, you know the various variables involved in the psychology so uh, i hope it is clear that what is basically the uh, what is basically the your psychology and what is the psychology and how it is related to uh, the organization behavior that why it is important to understand the uh, this uh, psychology now let me now let me discuss about the sociology that how the sociology is contributing how the sociology discipline is contributing towards the organization behavior so sociology as we all know very well it is the science of the society which has contributed greatly to our knowledge of group and inter uh, group dynamics right so so sociology takes the society rather than the individual basically so where it takes the society rather than the individual as a part of the department or the behavior in the group so uh, it is very you know important and is widely affecting or what i can say the consequences of compliant and the deviant behavior so sociology and uh, if i talk about in this so in the sociology the role efficiency is also the part which plays a very vital role in the organization 
another stream or the another discipline which is affecting that is engineering engineering is the applied science of energy and matter it enhances the behavior understanding of uh, design of work or even our understanding of towards the designing of work so if i talk about the taylor's taylor uh, principles so taylor took the basic engineering ideas and applied them to human behavior at work so which influences uh, the towards the study of organization behavior so definitely the effectiveness efficiency productivity all these are the factors which are the part which affect in the uh, individual behavior or affect on the work behavior so here the performance standards differential uh, piece rage systems goal setting programs all are the part of this next is your anthropology now anthropology again the science of uh, human learned behavior and it is really essentially important to our understanding of the organization culture culture anthropology if i talk about culture anthropology which focuses on the origin of culture pattern of behavior which develops with symbolic communication anthropological researches they have already examined the effect of efficient culture on organization performance so that's why um, this leads to this may lead to efficient cultures on the organization performance right so these may lead to the personalities may lead to dysfunctional organization culture i hope this much is clear next is your management another steam management or if i say administrative science then i am not wrong in that so administrative science or a study of overseeing activities supervising the people in the organization plays a vital role and is the part uh, or a contributed uh, discipline towards the organization behavior so uh, definitely in this uh, the point of uh, departure and uh, investigate the administrative practices uh, which enhances the effectiveness of system and uh, it uh, is a way or uh, to the you know unit of analysis viewpoint and the contribution of the study of human behavior another one the last stream which i am talking about is the medicine now in this medicine the applied science of treating the diseases to enhance the individual health well being medicines both uh, physical and psychological health i am talking about here and which leads to the industrial mental health so definitely in the industrial mental health many diseases are included chronic diseases hypertension or occupational hazards and health and being required well being is required so all these factors are there and with the drastic changes in the a disease is pattern urbanization to what i can say the epidemic uh, epidemiological transmission uh, that was developed in the country such as in india where the number of deaths are due to the non communal communi communicable diseases like cardiovascular etc cancer diabetes etc so that with the you know emerging trend of these Uh, and uh, illness ailments leads to the growth of the corporate wellness programs because of that only so in the nutshell if i talk about the um, uh, health care cost is in now in in the skyrocketing uh, cost and which continues to contribute to increase in the organizational concerns with uh, medicine health care to the workplace so mm, this is uh, your what i say this uh, is something which contributes towards the 
organization development so all these uh, are the uh, all, mm, disciplines which contributes to the the disciplines which contributes to the organization behavior right so now let me tell you what is organization behavior where the individual behavior and the group behavior right when both join together because organization behavior is individual behavior and the group dynamics on the organization and in the study of the organization behavior is concerned with psychology psychological psychosocial interpersonal behavior dynamics in the organization so uh, where the organization variables these affect the human behavior at work okay so now what do you understand by or what are included in the organizational va variables so organization variables which affect to the human behavior at work which is basically the study of the organization behavior so what these variables include these variables include job design of work communication performance appraisal organization design and organization structure i hope this much is clear to all of you that what is included in it right so uh, i hope this is clear and uh, thank you for this uh, this session for listening patiently and i hope this session gives you a clear understanding that what it is or uh, what is actually the organization behavior and how the disciplines are variety of the disciplines are contributing towards this behavior and how uh, we can uh, contribute how the different disciplines contributed and how we can we means our ability our behavior our skill i our uh, you know the culture affects on the organization behavior so this is the sum up and definitely uh, the key takeaway is clarity in the understanding of the behavior of the individual enable us to run the organization most effectively so kindly subscribe my channel and like the channel and let me know whatever the new topics you are in in which you are interested i will definitely make the sessions for that and in the next session we are going to discuss about the uh, extended stream uh, stream of the organization behavior thank you have a nice day